All right, all right, all right. We're doing another installment of Steve's Auto Care. We have a 2000 Acura TL 3.2 liter V6. And we're doing two jobs today. One are the struts and the other is the motor mount, which my previous video, this motor mount is very just like the other one. So in order to get this one off and, and others like this with this type of mount here, you have to lift the motor up and I used a floor jack with uh, a rubber block underneath the forward portion of the transmission, right where the transmission meets the engine. We lift the engine up just enough. Well, we, first, <laughs> first we pull this nut off. Then we lift the engine up. With the engine up, you take the four bolts, one, two, and then three, four. This one in the corner is hard to get to. And the way I did it, let's see if I still have my setup. Uh, I don't see it. But it involves a universal. And uh, my tray of tools here. You want a, an extension, but not, not this one. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, because the reason why this is a locking one and the extra thickness for the lock gets in the way of stuff. But, uh, yay, we just dropped tools. Oh, man, you know, story of my life. Anyway, so you put the uh, a three inch extension on this with the 14 millimeter socket and you come down, see, an angle from this way so the the three inch extension and the wobbly will come up and then you come up at an angle from this direction right here and that's how you get to that bolt there once you get the mount loose once you get the mount loose then you can take these three bolts out there's one here there's one down there there's another one down there the two on the bottom are easier to get to from the bottom and uh, this one is up at the top is is okay once you get those three out then this bracket comes out and then the motor mount comes out and don't forget when you put the new one in to put the vacuum line on not really sure exactly what that does but um, all the the newer Hondas have that style with this round mount some sort of dampening when you're on the load and off the load whatever but uh, there's a solenoid that operates that vacuum hose as well so we did that job, and the second job here is struts. Now, before we get to this part, let me show you what all you need to take off to get that strut out. Ugh. See if I can do this right. You have this piece here, which goes onto that bolt there. So you pull that 14 or 17 millimeter head, that bolt out which is here and the bolt comes in or the head of the bolt is on the towards the front okay and when you take that out try not to spin it because these are uh, oh I forget what they call these things but it's it's almost a press fit a little bit so you don't want to bugger out that hole by spinning the head of the bolt so always take the nut off and then just pound the bolt out all right once that gets out then you take the 14 millimeter head bolt off here and pound this will be sitting up like so and then so you pound it down like that off the strut and then wiggle it out of the way once this gets out of the way ah, now we go up take the five bolts now if you have this the tower brace the strut tower brace you do not have to take it off. You just take the two, the two bolts or the nuts off. So one, one two, three, four, and five. All there. Uh, these are 12. These are 14. While you're taking the last one, leave one hand tight, preferably this one. And then you hold the strut with your hand. And then the other hand, you'll take this one off. And then that way the strut doesn't fall and maybe clip the ABS wire or the brake line or anything like that. But once you get this bracket out of the way, 
the strut comes out. You don't have to take anything else off. Look at that. Rotor, caliper, the axle, it's all in place. Okay, so that comes right out. Now let's talk about the strut. Okay, so most shops have a $800 strut machine that you put the struts in and it's got a, a, a deal at the top that you turn and as you turn it, it comes down with uh, fingers on either side. It kind of goes like this to the strut and then compresses the spring with additional fingers on the bottom. I don't have that. What I did is buy OEM McPherson strut spring compressor tool set and I bought two of those the the shop tool is 800 bucks these are 40 bucks a piece on Amazon and this is how I do my struts I put three of them on why three because two it only comes with two so you should be able to do with two it's a safety thing if you do two you have to make sure without a doubt that they're 180 degrees out if they're too close you'll get a bow and that's not good for the spring and it's not good for safety by doing it three you have a little more uh, wiggle room so to speak and it just makes it really safe now I just got it in my vise just to hold it up straight but you know you can lay it on your side if you need to and and so on um, one thing you should do and it really doesn't make that much of a difference because this one's not a, uh, a steering strut like some McPherson struts are. Um, but just take a mark and just mark the strut mount, the, the pad. There's a pad underneath here. You want to try to put a mark on there. And just down the spring so that you can match it up. Now, like I said, on these Hondas and Acuras, it, it's, with, with this non-steering style, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but uh, the other kind it can it, it, it does. Um, it also helps, like see, this mount only goes on one way, so that also helps to align it back up. But it just helps everything to get in the right order if you line everything up. Um, it's just something that I do just in general. Um, so this one I'm still in the process of taking apart. We're doing both struts on this. You see, we got the new strut ready to go in. See my marks? Boom, boom. And, uh, well, you can't see the other mark. I must have rubbed it off. <laughs> but, uh, and it's also good to, when you're done, if you notice, this is a wear area. This is where it sits inside the strut tower. So, kind of wipe that off. Get any dirt and whatnot off that. Just, just to help seat it and make it quiet. Last thing you want is to push that struts in and then have the customer complain that it's squeaking. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.